This is Ed with Cloudcare, and I wanted to cover what I believe is one of the unsung heroes of web design. That is incognito mode. And I think this is an underused tool that should be something in your uh, standard stack of things you use when troubleshooting or uh, testing cache, things like that. So there's, a, there's actually a lot of uses for this. And uh, the reason that it's useful is that it's giving you a blank slate browser. So typically, uh, your everyday use of, let's say, Google Chrome, for example, it, you know, it incurs cookies and, and it's building cache and, and you're logged into your client's website. And uh, there's all these different factors that affect things when you're troubleshooting, especially when uh, uh, browser caches is, is uh, something you're troubleshooting. So a lot of times by default, when you're using tools like, uh, let's say, WP Rocket, it's not caching the same way as it does when you're logged in as when you're not logged in. And that's that's in there by design. So when you're troubleshooting something or, or, uh, or building something or developing something, the cache isn't, it's not caching normal. So it's, it's like a development mode when you're logged in, basically. And that's the default option. So I'll go ahead and show you here. So if you're in uh, WP Rocket, for example, yeah, let's go to it here. And I've clicked too many things at once. Okay. So you're in WP Rocket. Go to the dashboard and go to cache. And you'll see in here, enable caching for logged in WordPress users. So it's actually uh, really common for this to be unchecked. That's just pretty normal. So one of the things you can do, and, and I love doing this, is if you, and you, I don't know if, if everybody knows, but you can right click on a link and choose open link in incognito mode. And what that's doing is I'm loading the website in incognito. So it's, it's bypassing the, uh, the current session I'm already in. So as you can see here, on standard browser, I'm logged into WordPress. And in incognito mode, I'm not logged into WordPress because this is a completely brand new um, session in Chrome. And this will allow you to do things like troubleshooting caching. Or for example, uh, let's say you are doing user roles for a client. So you need to be logged in as administrator and you're going to be, uh, you know, disabling things that you don't want them to see or access or, or what have you. And what this does, this would allow you to be, for example, logged in as the role that you are working on in this browser tab. And then logged into the role you need to be in, which is administrator, to modify that user. So you'd be able to basically be in two places at once. It doesn't require two browsers to be open. Same browser, so you can never blame, well, this works on Firefox, doesn't work on Chrome, something like that. So it allows you to give a, a very even playing field. One thing to consider when you are using incognito mode is that if you are in an incognito mode session, that is a complete session. So if you open another tab, it's not like it's another blank slate. So if you you know, are logged into your website here, and then you, you go to the a web page and another tab, or even another new window of incognito mode, it's still the same session. So you need to keep that in mind. But it allows you to do a lot of things. And another thing that we, we like to use it for is if we're troubleshooting with a client, and, and they're like, it looks all wonky to me. And you're like, well, it looks perfectly fine to me. You can ask them to go into incognito mode and, and view the website that way. And what that does is it, it shows them that the website is in fact working to the world. It's just, uh, it's cached funny in their browser. There's, there's some kind of hiccup. They have a, a Chrome extension that is causing things to break. So it allows you to kind of skip past all that, all that stuff. So it's very beneficial. We find incognito mode to be one of the most useful tools nowadays. Uh, it, it's, it's for more than hiding your internet history. So you can do lots of troubleshooting, lots of development work, uh, test features, find bugs. It gives you an uncached blank slate. And the second you close this and open up it's going to give you a fresh blank slate again. And 
this is just going to be um, a very useful tool. And, and I do suggest considering more when you're troubleshooting, uh, when the footer breaks after an update or something and you're trying to figure out the cause, this is going to allow you to be logged into WordPress in one session and then have a blank session to troubleshoot with. So that is uh, me on a soapbox about incognito mode.